In this video I'm going to show you how to make a custom hatch pattern in SolidWorks. In this particular case a diamond neural hatch pattern that would be similar to what was once done by hand. So in order to do that you need to modify a file. The file is sldwks.ptn. This is the location of that file. You need to go and open it up. Now make a backup copy first. Right click, paste it and give it a different name. I'm going to actually open my backup to show you how to do this since that's the original. Go down until you find a line that defines the ANSI 31, uh, ANSI 37, sorry, and then highlight all three lines, copy it, and on the end of the file, at the end of the file, just type a semicolon, press enter, paste it in, replace the description of ANSI 31 with the word neural, replace the number 007 with 501, unless you've already got one called 501, leave the asterisk and the, and the colon. Now change the angle, 45 to 30 degrees. Change the second angle from 135 to 150. Save the file. Go back to SolidWorks, and now in SolidWorks, you'll have a diamond neural hatch pattern. Place it by going to Area Hatch. Go down and take a look for neural. You'll notice that neural is right there. Pick a point. Now if you want to do a partial hatch the way I've done it right here, you can erase that line when you're done. When you do that, it'll erase the hatch pattern. Control Z brings it back, press delete one more time and you can get rid of the line. I'm not exactly sure why that's true, but I press delete, control Z, delete once again so that you can leave an area in the middle if you'd like for other purposes. The boundary area does have to be a sketch so you can create it with either convert entities from the part itself or you can just sketch on top of the part and then place your hatch pattern.